no snails were harmed in the making of the video. Today is the day our lonely astroneers are not going to be alone anymore because snails just glided into astroneers. If you're excited to see all the seven snails and their powers, yes, they have powers and how to unlock them, watch the video to the end. There is so much to talk about and I've got some easter eggs too, but I'll try to tell you all of this in a nutshell. This is Kuya Game, subscribe for weekly astronaut content and we're starting right now. You're free to start the snails mission in any existing save. But according to the developers, if you start a new game, you will not encounter an old sticky terrain bug. Why are you running? Missions guided me to the first one related to snails, the strange object mission. If you can't find it at the mission log in your backpack or at any landing pad, then you might need to complete more of the other missions first. Don't worry, keep on grinding and it will eventually come up. I'm required to place this strange object somewhere on Silva. It turns out that the actual name is Xain 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 no It's too hard to say, just place it down. Hmm, a weird abandoned science lab. What can possibly go wrong? Place the provided oxygenator in the slot with its hologram and supply some power through one of these slots. This is gonna play the next summer hit. Yeah. It's got all the potential to make it. Once the bar got fully charged, I activated the front panel. This panel is going to give some insights on the story of the snails. So finally we're getting some kind of tail in astronomy and also some useful information on how to befriend snails. It seems like these snails are from another planet, but they can adapt to the environment. What? It seems like something bad happened. So where's snails the cause? There's only one way to find out. Let's go hunt these sluggards. Sorry, but this joke is really hilarious. Most missions will be similar for each snail, but they will get harder and harder. Put in your astronaut to the test. The mission for the first snail requires us to look for some mysterious shells in the forest. Once we collected five, we need to get a terrarium and fill it up with three resources found on this planet. Soil, zinc and bounce wind seed. Oh, nice rhyme. That was easy, peasant. Now we need to play the trumpet. Place a small trumpet horn on it and let it play its music. This is going to attract a snail. Be careful, it may be aggressive. I'm ready to slug it out. It does look peaceful though. What do you want me to do? What? Should I dance? Are you sure you wanna see me dancing? Okay, but I'm telling you right now, I only know one move, check it out. Oh, he appreciated it. Hey, the snail disappeared. Oh, he reappears somewhere else. Hmm, fortunately it's got a beacon and it's on the map too. I need to dance for a total of three times. Yeah, move those hips. The heart indicates he's ready to become my best friend. Who wouldn't want a suspected criminal as best friend? Make sure the terrarium is nearby, aim at it, hold the F key down, and there we go! You've got a nice new house, little friend. The terrarium is going to protect them, and I love the fact that you can pet your snail as well. Now we still need to place the snail in the lab to scan it. No worries, it's not a microwave oven. So, what is your power? Oh, you greatly illuminate an area. So helpful at nighttime or down in the caves. How do you activate this power? Give him any seed for a 10 minutes effect. But if you give him his favorite food, which is mutant he's been seed, this will triple the effect to 30 minutes. So convenient, no more power bills to pay. The ring on top of the terrarium is gonna tell you how much time is left. And the snails will also emit a sound and a beacon to tell you the effect is about to end. And you can also store an extra seed on the terrarium for later use. Well, you look ridiculous, I'm telling you. Bruh. What do you think of this power? Nothing special you say? Well, this is just one of the seven snails. You will be surprised to know what his friends can do. I believe this is the only snail that has got a regular name. I couldn't find any easter egg related to this name, except that it takes the name from its origin planet. But I can tell you that the next snails are going to be much more interesting. Now Sylvie is ready to come with us in our next adventure. I'm sure it will be of great help. We've unlocked two missions, we can go either to the Solo or Kalidor to look for our next snail. Something important you should know is that you're going to need a landing pad on each planet so that you can withdraw the terrarium. So if you don't already have one, you can either bring one from Silva, bring on each planet the resources needed or look for them once you are there. And don't forget to bring your trumpet. 
I'm on the solo, the missions will guide us to basically the same procedure we've been through to unlock Sylvie. Scan the five snail shells scattered in the Zolos craters. Get a terrarium at a landing pad, fill it with the resources of the planet, in this case soil, tungsten, also known as melted wolframite that can be found in the caves, and a dagger root seed. Place the trumpet on top of the terrarium. At this point the snail will appear. I still don't trust Nils. Don't attack me please, I'm too young to die. Let me see if you're scared of the terrain pool. Oh, you are, but you still seem nice. Hmm, you too seem to be peaceable. So then let me show you my best and only dance move. Repeat the dance until you're able to befriend this snail. I said snail. Huh? So here's some easter egg. Your name is Yuzagi. Hmm, probably comes from Japan anime related to a sailor on the moon or something like that. Uh, was it snail or moon? Very appropriate since this snail is found on a moon. So what's your power? While on the current planet tracks the nearest valuable curiosities on the compass. These include wrecked spaceships, marbles, and abandoned bases. By the way, this structure made its way back. It used to be found on the solo only, but here it is. Yuzagi won't show Exo 8s nor the Pro, and it seems like it doesn't detect items if you are flying too high. Its favorite food is mutant hisabine seed. Scan Yuzagi in the lab, and we're ready to go on Kalidor. I'm looking for the third snail on Kalidor. Two snails out of seven seem to be kind, but I heard that this snail is one of the most frightening and at the same time useful. Don't let your kids watch it! So you know the trick. Scan five discarded shells on blades of rock down in the caves. Get a terrarium at the landing pad. Fill it with the resources of the planet. In this case, soil, copper or smelted malachite and a whiz wheat seed. Place the trumpet on top of the terrarium. Place the trumpet on top of the terrarium. And here he is. Look at that eye, this nail must be harmful. Okay, let me try my one dance move. Musica maestro. Dance as many times as needed. And it appears like this nail is as friendly as the other ones. But what about your incredible power? Passively produces oxygen that fills tanks and tether networks? Do you mean you're a portable oxygenator? Is your favorite seed, the mutant volatile attack to seed. Pump that oxygen, baby! It seems like the name Stilgar comes from a famous novel set among dunes. How fitting! This book even inspired Star Wars. So we have an important snail indeed here. And wondering what will the next snails do to top your power? Competition is open. Quick stop at the lab for a scan, and now we are required to boost the signal of the lab to reach more planets. So get yourself an exo chip and remember good manners. I said just one. Bruh. Activate the lab panel and enjoy free Wi-Fi. We are now headed to Vazania. Let's go through the same stuff again. Find and scan the five shells hidden on the high hills. Get a terrarium at the landing pad, fill it with the resources of the planet, soil, lithium that you can find in abundance in the caves, and a leash leaf seed. Now just place the trumpet on top of the terrarium and dance to death. I'm wondering if this snail is going to be peaceful too. Because she's so cute. Are you a queen? Oh, you're just princess. There is a number of princess snail out there and so-called pink princess plants that resembles those on Vezenia. But I think her name is so mainly because, well, she's pink. Wrong. But her power is majestic too. While carried in the backpack prevents all forms of damage aside from suffocation. This means that you can get next to dangerous plants and even fall from a high place and get no damage. In other words, you become Superman, but lack of oxygen is going to be your kryptonite. You definitely want to feed a princess nothing less than her favorite food, mutant volatile cataplant sea. Let's take her to the castle, um, the lab, and I'm on Novus. Do I look silly with all of those nails and my backpack? After I made the landing pad, I can start all over again. This won't take much time. Eight hours later. It took so long that those trees grew faster than my landing pad. I can start all over again. Find and scan the five discarded shells found inside crumbling stones within the caverns of Novus. Get a terrarium at the landing pad, fill it with the resources of the planet, in this case, soil, 
iron, which is melted hematite found in the cave layers, and a thistle whip seed. Place the trumpet on top of the terrarium. You ain't bad, right? Nope. And now the best part: dance like there's no tomorrow. Apparently, rogal is a kind of Polish sweet. Guess why you got this name? You look like a croissant. Nice. What's your incredible power? You produce a significant amount of power. Useful if you need to use drills or just a hoverboard. Great, I needed a power bank. In order to produce this much energy, it needs a balanced diet. But he's got a couple of favorite food. No, he doesn't eat rogal. He's not a cannibal. Its favorite food is mutant noxious cataplant, whatever that is, and mutant volatile cataplant seed. Now it's time to take you to the bakery on silver for a quick scan gluten-free and this takes us to the overcharged mission we need to bring two exochips to the lab oh i'm glad i got a few extra earlier and we need to provide an indefinite more power huh? to the lab you know what let me try to use rogal yeah it works thanks little croissant then activate the panel of the lab and it will scan shells on glacio and atrox the last two planets before we go to Glacio, the frozen planet, here are some of the things I want to take with me. They'll come useful once we got there. Some TNT because why not? A drill head because soil is very hard on Glacio. Also, here's a little spoiler on the resources that you will need to fill up the terrarium with. Bring some ergon if you have it. Otherwise, I recommend that you bring an atmospheric condenser to Glacio. It will save you some grinding. I'm on Glacio already. I have found and scanned the five discarded shells found by detonating ice chunks in the caverns. One piece of TNT should be enough to open five chunks. Oh, how satisfying is this sound? The sound of victory. Get a terrarium at the landing pad, fill it with the resources of the planet, in this case, soil, argon, and pop coral seed. Place the trumpet on top of the terrarium and dance. Bestifar apparently means grandpa in Norwegian, but this name probably reminds you of IKEA's furniture, and that's very appropriate since Bestifar's habitat is very cold and IKEA was found in Northern Europe, a cold area. What's your power? While attached to the terrain tool improves its width, boost and drilling ability. Hmm. Basically your terrain tool becomes a jackhammer. Your favorite food is mutant boomalum seed. I'll take you to the lab on Silva for a quick scan and we're ready for the hardest, most difficult, unkind planet in Ostromir, Aatrox, the radiated planet. I expect great things from this name. In order to complete this recovery mission faster, I recommend that you bring an atmospheric condenser to Aatrox or a canister of helium. You know the drill. Find the scan the five discarded shells that have been consumed by the spew flowers. Get a terrarium at the landing pad, fill it with the resources of the planet, soil, helium and a spine lily seed. Place the trumpet on top of the terrarium and dance like you ate a weird mushroom. You better stop! And here's the radiated snail. So your name is Enoki. Interesting. Enoki is a kind of fungi. It makes sense since Aatrox is polluted by spores and it's got this fungi that resembles Enoki mushrooms. Your power, while carried on the backpack, it increases jump height, sprint speed and reduces movement penalty for carrying heavy items. So it's just like you were on steroids. Your favorite food is mutant noxious speed flower seed and mutant elegant spew flower seed. Now back to Scanon Silva for more radiations. We collected all snails, but there is one more thing to do. We have established that they are not harmful and are actually cutier than a QD RTG. Also, they give incredible powers, but what can they do when put together? Let me go to the lab, use the data log to activate the sonic array hatch, whatever that is, and slot all galast, galast, and slot all snails in those slots. Oh, what a nice a cappella song. Cutiness to the maximum level. I'm gonna leave the clip of the full song at the end of this video. Retrieve your prizes, which include the suit lab. In addition, if we activate the lab again, 
we will get the conclusion of the doc about snails. Well, we understood they are not dangerous at all. Be careful not to tread on snails because they are small and... Oops. Oh no, I feel so guilty. You should have seen that little guy. He looked sincerely crushed. Why are you bullying me? Don't worry, I'm not a monster. You can retrieve any snail anytime at the landing pad. What's your favorite snail? Let me know in the comments. I like Sylvie and Stilgar very much and I've got a couple of name ideas like Gary, let me know in the comments if you know why this name, and Michelle. <laughs> This video took so much editing, I've tried to make it concise yet helpful and fun. If you appreciated it, please leave a like so that more Astroneers can get it. If you want to find out more things to do in Astroneer, check this video out. And consider subscribing for weekly Astroneer contents or even become a member of the channel for exclusive content. Have fun with snails and stay safe.